Andrea, did you miss me? Here you are. Hey, 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 calm down. You're sick. Did you sneak into my room? Uh, you know, no, 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 no. If this is a misunderstanding. Andrea told me you'd be in the library, that you were a weirdo. I am not a weirdo. Hey, stop throwing stuff at me. Isaac, baby, you're here. What are you two doing? Did you hook up with him? What? No, of course not. Oh, yes, you did. Andrea, no way. You know how I feel about guys like him. You're my best friend. How can you do this to me? You. You're such an idiot. How can you hook up with her? Oh, 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 hey, this is a misunderstanding, Andrea. This is all your fault. How could you do this to me? What a couple of drinks can do, huh? You're such a jerk. You made me fight with my friend. Hey, hold up. No, no. I was just being charming. I mean, you owe me an apology. Excuse me? Yeah, seriously. Look at all this stuff you just threw at me. Oh, wow. Now I know what kind of person you are. And what kind of person am I? The guy who takes advantage of women with low self-esteem to hook up with them. Because let's be real, you couldn't handle a confident woman. Maybe. But maybe you could be the first. Yeah, forget it. It's time for you to leave. What? Whoa, whoa. I'm not ready to go yet. You have to leave, please. Oh, come on. I think we should talk. I mean, you, you just got honest with me. And I love honesty. Leave, or I'm calling the cops. Please. You have to go. Listen, how about this? How about I take you out for some coffee, and you'll see that I'm not as pathetic as you think. Are you insane? Get out of here, please. All right. Andrea, are you okay? Shut up! I swear, nothing happened between us. Yeah, sure. Uh, I heard you flirting with them. Andrea, come on! Don't take me for a fool. I saw you flirting with them. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm not sleeping in the same place as a boyfriend stealer like you. Andrea, you can't just leave like this. It's really late. Yes, I can! Andrea! Andrea! Because of the dumbest, most womanizing guy in the school, I'd lost my best friend. But who would have thought life had a way of turning things around? I'd find that out years later. Don't bother hiding. I know it's you too. Andrea, Isaac and I have nothing going on. We're just friends. Stop trying to make me look stupid. Listen, Andrea, whatever happened between us is in the past. Please, just get over it. Say what you want, but to me, you'll always be a backstabber. And I'll never forgive you for what you did to me. I'm so sorry that you had to go through this. Isaac! Hey, Mom. Sweetheart, what a coincidence. So nice to see you here. Yeah, yeah, what a coincidence. So uh, tell me, uh, what brings you here? Oh, you know, wedding shopping. I'd ask who you're inviting, but I think I already know. Mom, she's uh, just a friend, yeah? Hi, ma'am. I'm Carla. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on your wedding, but Isaac's right. We're just friends. Oh, I see. Look at him. Who better than you to know your own son? He's a mess. <laughs> well, if I invite you to my wedding, will you be willing to go with my mess of a son? Mom. Sure, be happy to. Wonderful. I'll send him the invite so he can forward it to you. It will be lovely if you could go. Maybe you'll motivate him to actually want to attend. Sounds good. We'll be there. Well, kids, I'll leave you now. I just came for a coffee and then I'm off to finish my shopping. See you at home. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, Isaac, I know you're not a fan of commitment, but not even going to your mother's wedding? Carla, it's her fourth wedding in seven years. After the second one, the excitement kind of wears off. Yeah, well, let's go. Go where? To the boutique. I need to find a dress for the wedding. Let's go. Let's go. Isaac! Glad you came. Yeah, that's it, Danny. I came with the most beautiful woman in the whole world. 
was she your first choice or... No, no, no. There aren't any choices. She's the one. She's my girlfriend. And what can she give you that I can't? Well, she's the most interesting woman I've ever met. She's smart, bold, and fun. Plus, she's the best friend anyone could have. I can give you all that, I too. I know. But I found all of it in Carla. So, sorry about that, Daniela. No doubt you're still the same idiot. Thank you. You have no idea what you just saved me from. I think I'm a magnet for drama queens. Uh, hey, Isaac. I'll be leaving town in a few days. Got the scholarship for the Painting Master's program. Wow, that's amazing. So how long will you be gone? A few weeks, days, uh, I'm not or, sure. Uh... It could be days, weeks, or even a whole year. Wow, that's incredible. I'm so proud of you. We need to celebrate uh, with a toast. Thanks. Well, I guess we'll be closer than ever now. That's right. So cheers to the best artist in the world. Cheers. Her flight is almost boarding. Hey, Isaac. Hey, Carla. Your flight is soon, right? Yeah. Why didn't you come? I would have liked to see you before I left. I'm really sorry. I had a little issue at work. A client wanted to renew her policy. But hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Of course, silly. Don't get all dramatic on me. Try not to lose your mind without me, okay? I promise I won't. I'll call you every day. Well, I gotta go now. Anything you want to say before I board? Yeah, well, I... Oh, you know what? Forget it. I have to hang up. Uh, see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. I have something to tell you, Carla. you weren't gonna call. Sorry, I've been a bit busy. Is that your new way of telling me you were with someone else? How's everything been for you? It's been three weeks since you left. <laughs> good, it's going well. A bit slow, but good. Lots of work, though. And what about you? It's been fine. Just had a little incident this morning with an older lady, and I think I was a jerk to her. No need to think. You probably were. You should apologize. Thank you. That's one thing I've always liked about you. You're not afraid to be honest with me. Of course. While others cheer you on, someone's gonna wake you up. Anyway, I'm really busy. I'll call later, okay? Uh, all right. Good luck. I think I love you. I'm in love with Carla. And you're just now realizing that- What are you talking about? Or maybe you just didn't want to admit it. Everyone knows you and Carla are in love. I should have never have let Carla leave without knowing how I feel. It's been keeping me up all night. Plus, it's been like four months and we barely talk. And when we do, the call just ends up dropping completely. It's Carla. What did she say? Carla! Wow, it's been so long. It's great to see you. Hey, I got something really important to tell you. Uh, Isaac. Please, it's really important. Uh, hey, babe, you're just in time to meet my best friend. But, but why are you calling him babe? Uh, what did I miss? Uh, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm getting married, and this is my fiancé, Roy. Wait. What? How? Nice to meet you. My name is Roy. Well, during those months where we weren't in touch, I spent time traveling around and I met Roy in one of those towns. I don't know what happened, but here we are engaged. 
I am really shocked. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm really happy for you, Carla. Really? Thank you so much. You're the best friend ever. That's why I wanted to ask you to be my best man. But, uh... Okay, Carla, I'll be your best man, but I don't want to be the only one. Oh, no, don't worry, you're not. Actually, the best woman is about to arrive, but I'm not sure how to explain it to you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Andrea! Hello. No way. Hey, yes, you. If you've made it this far, it's because you're enjoying this video, right? Why not subscribe so you don't miss anything coming up next? You can also give me a like and leave a comment below with what you'd like to see next. Catch you later! Guys, you have no idea how excited I am that, despite everything, you're gonna help me plan the wedding together. No need to thank me. You were always a great friend. At least the distance brought us closer and helped us make up. I'm also really happy to be here with Carla and her friends. But to be honest, I'd like to get to know you a little better. Oh, I know! How about you three go out sometime? This restaurant turns into a bar at night. You, you could come one of those days. Sounds good to me. That's a great idea, babe. But hey, we have to go now. We need to stop by your oh, parents' Oh yeah, house. I almost forgot. Guys, we've got to head out. But I will be in touch soon about the wedding. It's okay, Carla. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you guys. I'm down for whenever you want to hang out. Absolutely. We'll hang out soon. Bye, Carla. Well, I should get going. So? What are you gonna do to stop that wedding? Excuse me? Oh, come on. You really think I didn't notice how jealous you were? What's your plan to stop the wedding? Wait, are you crazy? I can help you. I'm not doing anything to stop Carla's wedding. She's my best friend. Besides, why would I trust you? What's in it for you, exactly? Thanks again for coming, really. It's been great getting to know you both better. Carla's really happy about this. Yeah, I bet. Sorry, tell us. How did you win Carla over? Well, honestly, I don't know. It just happened, I guess. And what do you do? Well, I own a real estate company in Houston. Wow, so you're from the Ariola family. Of course. Yeah, but honestly, I don't like talking about that. Well, yeah. It takes a lot more than that to uh, deserve someone like Carla. Excuse me? What my friend is trying to say is that you don't deserve his best friend. Hey, hey, Andrea! No, no, it's fine. He's got the right to question me. I mean, he's known her longer than I have. I actually think you do deserve her. But if you want to prove it, why don't you and Isaac arm wrestle? Come on, Andrea. No way. That's ridiculous. It was just a joke. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary either. Please, that's just a really dumb idea. I think you're scared of Roy. <laughs> Of course not. I just don't see the point. So, are you scared or not? I'm not saying that. I just mean, he's my friend's fiance, and I don't want things to get awkward. Oh, so you think you can beat me? No, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just don't want any bad blood between us. We can find out. Roy, come on. No, no, it's just a game, man. And that way you can show me I'm not worthy of Carla. What? Are you scared? All right, fine, let's do it. I'm ready, whenever you want. I was born ready. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Congrats, Roy. I guess you proved you're the right guy for Carla. It's nothing personal, man. I've got a lot of respect for you. Carla's best friend is my friend, too. Friends. Has this one? No, no. Absolutely not. Why not? Because I don't think it's right. But it's my wedding night. So what? I just don't think Roy is the type of guy who'd be into that kind of uh thing. <laughs> Isaac, if I didn't know you, I'd say you were jealous. No, no, of course not. I'm not jealous. Well, by the way you're acting, I think this is it. So, what's next? 
I was planning for us to pick out the venue and the decorations. I'm sure you'll love it. Just to show you how much I've changed for you. You know where I really want to go? Our coffee shop. I'm craving it again. Uh, but... Yes, Carla... yes, yes, I'll change and we'll go. <laughs> know something? Since you left, I haven't gone back to the cafe. Really? But uh, it was your favorite. You're the one who discovered it. <sighs> yeah, but let's just say some things mean more when you experience them with the right person. After you left, it just wasn't the same. You're right. I felt the same way. Every time I had coffee, I thought of you. And how could I not? We shared so many moments together, coffee in hand. <laughs> Hey, Isaac, I was thinking the other day, you used to want to tell me something a few times we met. What was it? Well, I... Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't right. Come on, Carla. Why, Isaac? Just why now? Because I love you. Because you're about to marry another man, and, and I... I couldn't go on without telling you how I feel. Right. Just like when you were messing around with other women and telling me all about it, you felt a lot for me, huh? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I didn't know I loved you like this. I knew that there was something between us. But I didn't want to lose you. This isn't fair, Isaac. You know perfectly well that I was willing to drop everything to be with you despite who you were. And now that I'm about to get married and move to another city, you tell me this? Wait. What do you mean you're moving? What? Yeah. I'm moving to another city with Roy after we get married. I mean, when did you decide that, or how? I've known for a while, Isaac. But it's not fair for you to come and tell me this right now, when I'm starting this new chapter in my life. It's just not right. Hey, Andra. Hey, bro. How are you? Well, I guess I'm okay. Not sure how to ask this, but... Do you think Carla's really sure about marrying me? <laughs> what do you say that? I don't know. She felt kind of distant, and I just found out Isaac isn't coming to the wedding, so I'm guessing something went down between them. Oh, honey, I've got something to tell you. Son, you're not going to the wedding? No. Why not? Carla is your best friend. Well, I'm not going. That's it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm heading inside. Isaac Maciel, I want you to tell me what's going on. Why do you even care? It's not like it matters to you. What would you know about losing someone? You've always had someone else waiting in line. Sweetheart, you're right. After my second marriage, none of my relationships were the same. And you know what? Not because the new ones didn't bring anything good, but because I never forgot the one person I truly loved. Son, I know you love Carla, and I'm certain she loves you too. Did you ever tell her how you felt? Of course I tried, but it's pointless now. She's about to marry another man. Son, I know you very well. You've been with many women, but you need to understand that every woman wants a man who will fight for her. Enjoy the party, Mom. Isaac! Babe. Is there something you need to tell me? What are you talking about? Lawyer Ruth, so you take Carla as your lawful wife to protect her, cherish her, and love her until death do you apart? I... Carla, you can't get married. Please. I love you, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win you back. Isaac? Listen to me. I'm begging you. You're the love of my life, and I can't just let you go. Do you realize what you're doing? I can't stay with you. This is my wedding day. I can't just walk away. So please, I need you to leave. Carla, you don't have to marry me. I know you love Isaac. Uh, but, Roy... It's okay. You don't have to lie or explain yourself. I love you. And I love you enough to let you go, if that means you'll be happy with someone else. Roy, I'm so sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. I get it. You're an amazing woman. You're lucky. Not everyone gets a second chance like this. So go on. The man of your life is waiting for you. I care about you, Roy. Me too, Carla. Carla, 
You know what my biggest mistake has always been? Assuming we had all the time in the world, and that, well, you would always be by my side. I know I've made mistakes, and I've messed things up since we've met. But today was my last chance to tell you how I feel. Isaac, I don't want you saying all of this just because I'm something you never had. I don't want to be your trophy. Of course you're not. You're the love of my life, my best friend, my confidant. <laughs> I know I can't change the past, and I get why you feel the way that you do. But I very much think that I let go of who I used to be so that when you came back, I'd be the person that you were looking for. You'll always be the man I want, Isaac. I love you for who you are, who you were, and who you'll become. I can't imagine anyone else by my side. I want to live my life with you. Who would have thought we'd wait so long to finally say all of this? <laughs> they say the person we're meant to be with isn't always the perfect love story. I think after all this time, that love could be in that lifelong friend.